Then there was a question on, on uh, African Union, uh, European Union cooperation, and I think also MEP Zorinho uh, referred to that. So uh, we don't know yet the date for the African Union, European Union summit. As you know, we needed to postpone that uh, because of the COVID-19 uh, and because there was a will to organize that summit in a physical format. So um, I think at the moment uh, the realistic timetable is that uh, we might have that summit in the beginning of next year, 2022, but there is no date yet. And I, that's also uh, because of the COVID-19 situation is still um, uh, unstable, so that it's it's very difficult to predict that uh, that when we are out of the crisis. But it doesn't mean that uh, that uh, uh, you know it it somehow would affect to our partnership with African Union because our relationship and partnership with African Union is is very active. It's very tight. We are, uh, are having a different kind of discussions uh, among the commissioners uh, regularly. And, and then, of course, uh, we are already preparing for that summit. And as I said in my introduction, we have also consulted a lot of different kind of stakeholders, not only the European Parliament, not only the politicians, but also civil society organizations private sector representatives and citizens of, of Europe and Africa. And I think uh, this is important that uh, we really consult and, 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 and reflect those uh, policy priorities which shall, shall be then uh, on the agenda of the summit. Uh, that brings me uh, to the uh, other questions raised by uh, MEP Zorinho. Uh, there was, of course, a post -cotton, new post-cotton new agreement, and I want to thank you very much uh, for your good cooperation and, and for your effort, because I know that you, you really uh, was a key actor uh, from the European Parliament side in order to, to help us to, to reach an agreement with, uh, with ACP countries. Uh, what, what is the state of play at the moment? So, as you know, we were able to reach a political agreement uh, last December. Uh, and uh, last week we were able to initially uh, the agreement. So, uh, from our perspective, we have concluded the negotiations. And now there is the outcome. Uh, and I think the outcome is very good and we should be very proud of that. Uh, in the coming weeks, uh, the Commission is, is, is making a formal uh, proposal to the Council, because you know that the Council is the one who is then taking the, the, the final uh, uh, decision on that. And uh, I don't want to predict uh, which will be uh, the, the legal nature of the agreement, uh, we will find it out in the coming weeks when the Commission is, is making the proposal. And then, of course, we hope that we would be able to sign and have the signature uh, of the new agreement uh, uh, on the second half of this year. I would say in November, December, so bef before uh, the end of the year, so that then we could uh, really have... Uh, a new uh, agreement. Uh, so, so this is the, this is the state of play, and and then of course um, we are we are waiting for the for the decision of, of the Commission and also permission to to to, to sign. Uh, 